It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. In honor of the American Holiday Father's Day, we're going to be using the dad team. So we've got pure vanilla, dark cacao, dark chocolate, tea night, and red velvet. Now, yes, dark chocolate is the son of dark cacao, but I figured that would help drive the point of what the day means and stands for with father and son. And it technically makes a sneaky quad four team. So as you can see on the other side, Madeline... Caramel Arrow, Wild Berry, and Dark Cacao are the meta quad four that you traditionally would see, where on our side, the idea is that the defenses are going to come down quite a lot between both Dark Cacao and Dark Chocolate's ability, but also we have Red Velvet pulling Herb, or at least any back cookie to the front line, so that way Tina can hopefully shred through them. In addition, we have Pure Vanilla and Monocles are healing factors, so that way we can keep the team going and not just rely only on the death triggers for T-Knight and the buffs to specifically push him to the max. Even though that is a strategy and an option, instead it would be more fun to try and keep the team going as far as it can. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you what the team does, and then we'll go over some toppings and try some other teams as well. So we're going to start. We do have it set up in a sense where... The abilities are all triggering pretty close to each other. Nobody's running cooldown except Pure Vanilla, but Pure Vanilla's got a 20 second cooldown, so that means even with high cooldown, it's going to be a 4 second start. Our monocle goes ahead and activates, giving us the chance to keep a couple cookies alive instead of them perishing to Caramel Arrow's bursts. Then, as you can see, the defenses are going a little bit down on their side, and we've lost both father and son of the team to begin with, but we do pull the back cookies with red velvet and t knight is still going pretty strong now we've just got our finishing points which is red velvet and t knight so this time we didn't win that means that the crits were high enough on caramel arrow side that made it so that we did not get to take that battle but let's go and look at the stats anyway so as you can see red velvet cacao t knight they all did really good damage Dark Chocolate, he's not really posed for as much damage as the others are. He's more utilitarian, as you've probably seen in Guild Battle. As far as healing, Pure Vanilla did well over what Herb was able to do on their side, so that stun from Red Velvet and that pull forward definitely helped a lot. So we're going to go ahead and we'll try that team one more time, because we should be able to beat them. But yet again, it does kind of depend on the crits that are used on both Madeline and Caramel Arrow side on the other team. They get really good criticals. They're probably going to go ahead and shred through our team. And so that's a good thing to run multiple times to test because it could also depend on our criticals and if we get some good activations as well. And as you can see, it looks like this time we're running just a little bit smoother. Hopefully we only lose one person. Now, nah, see, that time it was much worse, actually. We lost four cookies at the exact same time. And yes, we are about to get the insignia activation and push through Madeline and Dark Cacao, but we did not get through fast enough for Caramel Arrow. So as you can see, we had completely different results that time for the exact same team. So really what's happening is on the other side, they're getting good critical strikes against us. So it's hard to kind of gauge how it's going to fight against that specific setup of a team, seeing as they could have a completely different result each time. So this time we're going to go ahead and try against something else. They are going to have Caramel Arrow again on this team, but it's not a quad four. So we have much more defense where they have more burst power, but that's okay because the Insignia will heal us if we do take the fall from that. So we're going to go ahead and send our units out. And then the hope is that we either get Pure Vanilla or a Claire pulled up with Red Velvet. And then that should give us a pretty good advantage on overall power. We got that monocle activation just in time before we lost our first cookie. So we are still going strong with the full team. The insignia heals up our three mains as Red Velvet and Dark Chocolate do take the fall. But this time we do take the battle. So as you can see, this time Dark Cow was the leader of the fight. Almost pairing up similar to what... Caramel Arrow was on their side. And that was actually their only one of two level 60 cookies, as they have Dark dark Cacao as also level 60. But let's take a couple other teams. 
just testing random different ones to see how we do against the meta and how we do against other teams that are built. You know what, let's take it against um, this person who has beaten all 60 waves of alliance mode. You can tell by the golden teen knight profile picture. So they've got a completely meta team, which is Wildberry, Dark Cacao, Clotted Cookie, Claire Cookie, and Parfait. Now, they should be able to push through us because of taking care of some tanks, but we actually might stand a pretty decent chance. So let's give it a shot. Our biggest hope is that Red Velvet takes Parfait upward, because if we take out their healer, we get the biggest advantage against this specific team. So our monocle is going to activate, keeping everyone alive, keeping everyone going. And then we're going to get Pure Vanilla Shields activation, which is helpful just for the time, but once their Dark Cacao activates, not too helpful. We get the Insignia activation because of Pure Vanilla going down. Monocle keeps everyone just barely alive. And it's definitely a tight race, but we lose our T-Knight, so Dark Chocolate was actually the one to survive. If we had kept T-Knight, maybe we would have had a better chance, but this is in comparison to somebody who's beaten all of Alliance Waves. So clearly their team is running much stronger than what we have. And that's okay. This team is really just a celebratory team for the holiday itself, rather than being a team that would be super powerful to fight in the arena. But we are going to go ahead and take it into the environmental mode and see how it can fare against one of the stages that I know a lot of people have quite a amount of issues with. Let's go to 11-27. And we're in dark mode. We're just going to see how the team runs. And I forgot to actually load the team in. So let me back out of that real quick. We're going to load that team in. Save teams. Team number five, arena attackers. All right, here we go. Should have all the toppings correct, which we do. Good. All right. And here we go. Let's see how it handles it. Now, granted, we have lab upgrades. We have the statue. We have guild buffs. We have the cookie bonds. We have the toppings. There's quite a lot going on for the cookies that I'm running, so... Please don't take this team as a guarantee win for this stage because I am technically over leveled in comparison to how you might be approaching the stage. But just know that maybe if you get to a certain level point and you don't have a team that's working well for it, this may actually do it for you. So, as you can see, we're about to hit Raspberry Cookie. We haven't lost any cookie yet. Take a good amount of damage on dark chocolate but pretty much instantly healed from pure vanilla our monocle is going to activate re-pushing up everybody and between the defense down from both dark chocolate and dark cacao the amount of defense reduction on raspberry is pretty high which is actually giving both red velvet and t knight a pretty good chance to hit some good damage against raspberry cookie so as you can see we got about a minute and 20 seconds left and we've already taken more than half of the health bar. And yet again, it does help a lot with all the bonds and upgrades I have. That's why it's not a, a feasible team at the early stages of the game. But when you're pretty far up and you have level 70 cookies, you have some bonds, you have some upgrades, this team handled it without any problem. So it's something that you can look forward to building when you're further in the game because you can start to experiment with a lot more cookie setups and tropes and different builds, and it gets really fun. So tell me what you think about the dad team. Is it what you would build? Would you use different cookies instead? How do you feel about the lineup that we chose for Father's Day? I'd love to hear your feedback and opinion. Either way, I hope you all have a wonderful day.